Hey everyone, welcome to the House of Horror. Cody here again, no annual. And uh, this week, it's week five. Uh, and um, I'm going to be reviewing a movie that's very near and dear to my heart. It's one of my, it's my second favorite zombie film of all time, only surpassed by Dawn of the Dead. But I think Dawn of the Dead seems to be everybody. Either. One of the, it's the my favorite non Romero zombie movie. And um, I, it's probably one of the horror movies I've watched from the most in my entire life. And I only own it on tape. It is on DVD. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys own it on DVD. I prefer the look of the tape for some reason, but I'll probably get it on DVD sooner or later. But uh, the movie is Peter Jackson's Dead Alive. I think this is a tape. Totally uncut. Gore. Nice little gore. Yeah, Dead Alive. Uh, my favorite Peter Jackson movie, followed by Bad Taste, Meet the Feebles, and Heavenly Creatures. Lovely Bones was alright. Lord of the Rings, eh, not a big fan. And uh, King Kong. Uh, King Kong is good. I like. I enjoyed it enough. But uh, if you haven't seen Dead Alive, it's also our Avatar now. Our new Has Four Avatar uh, scene from it. But um, basically, these this uh, zookeeper and uh, some African or Indian or with some form. This uh, monkey, maybe I forget. That. I've seen this movie a thousand times. I can never remember the freaking monkey's name. Uh, some Moradian rat monkey or something. It's insane. I'm just guessing. It's a Sumatran rat monkey, and uh, they go dead. But it's apparently like this really dangerous monkey. And um, door starts off at the beginning. Like they go and cut the guy's arm off because I I'm going all over the place. I mean. Stay on track. Anyway, they're going to get the monkey, and um, the the zookeeper gets bit by the monkey, and they're like Sanjaya, and he gets cut in the hand. So they go, Wah! and they cut his hand off with an axe, and it shows it, and it's gory and funny. Uh, and then you see it on his arm, and Sanjaya, and they cut off the his arm. And, uh, they see it on his head, and Sanjaya, Wah! and then splatters up. Oh, and also I should say. It's it's called Brain Dead. I forgot to say that. Depending on where you live, it's either Dead Alive or Brain Dead. Uh, more or less, I know a lot of people on here aren't from America, so Brain Dead. Anyway, uh, it gets to America anyway because the acting guy wanted money, and it ends up in a zoo at uh, in New Zealand, where um, this boy lives with under his mother, who does the creature. He's like, Lyle. There's dust everywhere. Why isn't this place dusted, Lionel? Uh, and he uh, goes into a convenience store one day and to get some food and biscuits and stuff for his mother. And this uh, girl's parents are like gypsies, or her grandmother, or mom, or whatever, gypsy. And she showed her a sign of true love, and the guy spills like some licorice and some pencils, and he makes the sign. And she thinks they're meant for each other, and so she goes there and. Um, and they fall in love, and uh, they go to the zoo one day as a date, and uh, Lionel's mother's not too keen on that, and she goes and spies on him, but when she's there, she gets bit by the rat monkey, and slowly starts deteriorating and turning into a zombie, and uh, she sp it starts spreading the virus, and all kinds of other people die, and it's an all-out fucking zombie gore fest, and it is the goriest movie ever made. Uh, I'm, I'm, I sp uh, as far as I know, if there's another one that's way gorier, please, please let me know. Because I saw this movie at a really young age, and once you see this movie, seeing the really goriest movie before you see a lot of horror movies, it's kind of hard to watch horror movies that are called the goriest movies ever, because you know this will always be gorier. It may not be the most realistic gore, but it's still gory. And we all know the lawnmower scene where he kicks on the door and he's like, party's over. And, yeah, I don't want to ruin anything if you haven't seen it. But 99.9% .9 of you guys probably have seen this. And there's some great comedy, like where he's running in the blood and he uses the head, uh, the head as headstones. Ha ha ha. Uh, really all around great movie. Uh, almost a near perfect movie. My favorite character in the movie, though, is one that a lot of people don't even remember. He's been in it for like all together, maybe a minute. But it's uh, the Nazi doctor. They're like, uh, he knocks on and goes, You're from the MR. I told you people a hundred stinking times. I lost my paper. Oh, hi. That's probably a terrible impression, but he's like, my family. 
we came to America during the time of the war, and he's like, I just want some CDs, and he's like, CDs? What do I look like, Rodden Doctor? I don't say CDs. Tranquilizer? I do have. And I don't know why, but I always laugh at that part. I find it really, really funny. And the rest of the movie is just perfect. The gore is great. Uh, there's a preacher who kicks some zombie ass. Um, what else is there that I can speak about? Uh, there's one part where the mother, like, eh, covered in blood, and they pull, like, a dog out. And she's like, Donna, your mother ate my dog! And that's actually the Spanish title. Movie, I think I honestly think the Spanish title of that movie is "Your Mother Ate My Dog." Uh, don't take the bank but somewhere. And then he goes, "Well, no, I love it." And then on the bed is organs. And then of course there's a zombie baby, the pr the dead zombie preacher or priest, I should say, and the dead zombie nurse. You have to see to understand. They, you know, do that at um the table, and they make a zombie baby, which is. Play my second favorite character movie, like, <laughs> and he's just mischievous, and he kills, and he, the, my favorite all time in the movie, it's not, it's, it doesn't have, like, virtually any gore, but it's when they're at the playground, <laughs> and he's beating the shit out of the baby, oh my god, that's so funny, I, I, honestly, that's probably one of my favorite movie scenes of all time, and he, like, takes a swing, he's like, <laughs> and slams in the baby's head, and that homeless guy is like, ah, <laughs> laughing, these women are like, oh my god, because they have no idea it's a zombie baby, and it's hysterical, death. but uh, definitely check out Dead Alive if you haven't seen it, uh, I prefer the look of the VHS, uh, but if, of course you can't get it on DVD, I'm pretty sure it's fairly cheap, I got it for a dollar at the Goodwill, so, hooray, uh, I didn't even know what it was, I just saw the cover, and I thought it looked cool, so I picked it up at the Goodwill, um, Definitely a highly, highly, highly recommended movie, if you haven't already seen this. Uh, I'm pretty sure Midpoles is a big fan of this movie. I mean, this is his exact picture, so I'm pretty sure he's a big fan of the movie. Um, I think most people are a huge fan of the movie that have seen it. But if you haven't seen it, please check it out for me, and uh, tell me what you think about it. And again, if there's a gore your movie out there... Please let me know. I'd love to check it out. Uh, but that was my review of Dead Live. It wasn't a very good one. It was okay. But I um, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in week six next week where I'm going to have a surprise, even though I don't know what the hell I'm going to review yet. But uh, check you guys later. Bye.